Hello my magnificent lot, it's Mega Gran here again with another episode of Building a Minecraft Zoo. Hello Samson and Delilah with your Christmassy hats on. Now then, we're on Vintage Beef's Omega Zawa server and I'm heading over here by the spider monkeys because we are going to build an exhibit for the mandrill. Thien Long Nguyen Oh dear, my sincere apologies, I'm sure I didn't pronounce that correctly. Requested the mandrill next to the spider monkeys. Now then, I don't think I want this little um, level here, this grassy bit here. I think I'm going to have that all off. There we go. A little bit natural on the end there, but that's all good, good, good. Now... I've got to, what I thought of is I quite enjoy doing the bird exhibit, you know, with the donut. And I think here I'm going to do a dome. Dome and a donut. No, just the dome. I'm just going to do the dome. And I've got to figure out where it's going to go best. But the path has got to come through here, so I need to mark it out. So it's going to go this way. All the way along here. And then I think I'm going to turn it here. Although I think it might go straight on, but have a turn here as well. That means it'll have to go behind the bird exhibit, I think. I think that'll be interesting. I think that'll be all right. So, yeah. I think that'll do very nicely. I need to do the other side now. I think it was five wide, wasn't it? I think it was. There we go. This is going to be, a, I don't know whether it's going to be a curve or a corner. If this goes straight on, it'll probably just be a, it's like a T-junction, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I thought it was five. So I need one, two, three, four, five here. That's it. Oh, those bald eagles. Now, I want to leave a space of at least five here so that's on the other side of the path so i think that'll work out well if i put the edge of the circle here i think let me just have a little flyover and see whether that looks about right oh i think i could move that over a little bit actually to have the dome very near that edge so this is how the plot modeler has given me for a 19 block diameter dome. I think that will work out okay, I think. So I'm just going to outline it with this blue netherrack. That one there, and I need that to be two that way. And then I need a right angle two blocks here. So no, 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 that's not the right one. That one there. That's it. So that's one two and then another one here in the same plane or oh, yeah one two and then another one there that's going to be one two three four five and then i just have to repeat the other side now two there two there right angle two and then two and then five two three four five and then two again there and then two and then right angle one two one two it's not as big as the spider monkeys but um there's quite a lot of them in there so this one is only going to have two in i'm going to use rainbow eucalyptus for this exhibit um but i'm only using it at the back so for now i'm just going to change all these for rainbow eucalyptus logs on their end so we can see that through the glass that'd be nice i think uh this bit i'm gonna have to build it up i think with a bit of dirt because i don't want it just hanging like that and then we'll see how that looks when we've done it it might need a little bit more but i'm not quite sure yet so but i think that'll do that'll do quite well i think and so i'm just going to carry on with that pattern of the logs on their end all the way around. And that is done, I think, with those two there. There we go. 
Now, I want to get to a key place where I can see that. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, they've got stuck under there. Come out, come out, wherever you are. There they are. Okay. Right. Okay, so... I think this is going to be big enough. As I say, there's just going to be two mandrels in here. Oh, what have I done there? Uh, oh, I've missed one out there. That needs to go in there. There we go. That's better. So I need to get to a key place so I can have a look and see whether that looks okay. So let's have a little fly. I wonder if I can land on the spider monkeys. Um, outer perimeter. Can I get on it? Take your bets. I'm aiming for it. I did. Yeah, I think that fits in there quite nicely, don't you? Yeah, I like that. Now then, what I'm going to do is use the rainbow eucalyptus at the back here, like um, sort of like a, a backdrop. It's not going to have glass all the way around. Okay, let me just see. I think that is probably as much as I want it. But, you know, I think I might just change that a little bit. And I think what I'll do is I'll have those types of logs in. Let me just change those. Like that. Oh, I need some more. And that one. Do I need another? Yeah, those two there. Okay, that's it. Round about like that. And then what I'm going to do... Oh, I need some glass. Just let me get some glass. And I'm just going to have a layer of glass on top of that rainbow eucalyptus there. And then another layer of rainbow eucalyptus on top of the glass. And then there's going to be rainbow eucalyptus all the way to the roof at the back there. Just so this is a place for privacy uh, for the mandrills if they need it. I'll put a link in the description for this dome, uh, which I use for the donut as well. So this is all even now, and all we need to do now is put the top on. And I'll continue with the glass at the front and the rainbow eucalyptus at the back. And we'll see what it looks like when we get there. So I'll see you when I've done that. Well, we've nearly finished the top. I've just run out some glass, though. I need a bit more glass. Let me just go and get that. Now then, where was it? No, oh, it was in this one. That's it. Right, let me land on it. There we go. Don't fall through the hole. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to seal this top bit here with, with all glass. And then I'll get rid of all the support blocks underneath. And we'll have a look and see what that looks like. When I've done that. Oh, can I get to there? Yep. Oh, okay. I like this bit where you take all this off and then you stand back and you see what you've created. There. Oh, can I get in? There. Now then. I quite like that. Hmm. Now then, I'm going to try and get a tree in there and I've probably left it too late. But first... I want to do a little pond here so that comes round the front just one block deep that's all i think the mandrills can cope with that i think have it come round there a bit i don't want it symmetrical at all so let's have a look uh yeah let's have a bit more there and i think a bit more around the other side I think, um, is that too wide there? No, no, I think uh, I'll just take a bit more out of there. A bit more there. That's it. That's about as much as I want, I think. Now, I need a sapling. And I'm hoping that this sapling is going to grow into a beautiful tree with lots of layers on it. But we'll have to see because that's how rainbow eucalyptus grows. So let's pop this, uh, let me see. Uh, maybe it's there. Right, come on now, come on now, come on. Grow, grow, grow. Oh, please. 
I don't think it's going to grow. I think we might have to build one. So this is a tropical rainforest. And these... Whoops, Daisy. Are rainbow eucalyptus. Just look at that tree there. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. These other ones are mahogany, but that is absolutely gorgeous. I'm taking screenshots. And that's the sort of shape I want to get in the dome for the tree. And it's got lots of layers. Can I get down there? Just a minute. That's better. Yeah. I want... Oh, what's down there? Oh, it's just a hole. Yeah, that's the sort of shape I'm going to be going for. And it's going to be... Uh, this. Uh, this. This. And then, I need some dirt. I want some... That looks quite dark now, but I can strip all these. What would strip ones look like? What would they look like? Uh... Ooh. I think these need to be stripped. Let's have a look. I really thought that was a creeper. I just saw that bit of green. Yeah, it needs to be um, it needs to be stripped. So we'll go around like that. There we go. And that's everything, isn't it? missing now. I think we're missing something directly out the back here. Uh, uh, one here. And then one here. And then one here. Uh, uh, we have we have one there. Uh, this one. This one. Uh, let's see. I can't like that shape. I think I like one, this, this one coming out here, just a little bit, just a little bit, uh, yeah, 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 that's a, uh, that looks alright, uh, okay, let me see what that looks like, yeah, I like that shape, uh, this feels like it wants a little something here as well, it could be, uh, can I have one of those on there, and maybe even, so look, that space there, that one there, and then, put, uh, there, I think so. I think we need that there. Uh, where's the shovel? Uh, right, look at that. Oh, I feel now that uh, maybe put that out there. Put this one. Uh, uh, now. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, I like that better. I like that better. So now we want some leaves. So the leaves, uh, they're very far and wide. The leaves, very far. Yeah, 
Okay, that's what we're okay. Yeah, I'm liking that. We can all eat though. There's going to be a lot of this round here because I think they'll go up to the tree quite a lot and do a lot of, uh, a lot of climbing and now a lot round here is going to be quite wet. A little bit of this and uh, let's see. The meadow dirt maybe. Yeah, I think that goes in there quite well. We could use some mahogany because the mahogany was in there, wasn't it? In the in the forest. some over here as well not much space in this bit so we'll only have a, a little bit here uh, let me just take that off and make that uh, in with a log yeah that's better okay right so I've done the bo bottom of the pond oh dear I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this Oh. Hmm. I put this on. Oh. Okay, I'm going to bring one out there. Right, so let me put this here. Here. I think I might want on top of there. And. And then I might need to grow coming down. If I can. Then I'd like can that go What's underneath. Am I in the way? Uh, there. Okay, that's one. There we go. That's good. Yep. Now then, I'm gonna have to put some uh, supporting logs there so I can put this on its side because it kept wanting to go flat. I'm not sure what I'm doing differently from the others. So if I get rid of those now. Right, I think this will be the last tyre. Let me just pop this on there and will that hang down this time? Yeah, it will. Okay. Right. Um, I'm going to fill the pond in a minute. But let me put this centred ball over there. Um, oh, I'll just put it it there okay I've got a uh, puzzle feeder can that go maybe it's there well it didn't attach but it looks okay I think hmm I might need a few more ropes in there actually okay that's the last one I think I don't want to overdo it there that brings a bit more balance to it I think I'm just going to put a splash of colour in here. There wasn't any colour, any flowers in that tropical forest. But I, I want a bit in here, so I'm going to put a few in. And lots of ferns. I put some leaf piles on as well. I didn't see those in the tropical forest either, but I like those. And I've added to the pond. Right, that's light number two. And I think I'll just have another one here. Right, let's stand back and see what that looks like. I think I finished it don't think I want anything more in there. I like the way it looks. In fact, I might have to take some of those leaves away on the floor. Now, I haven't managed to catch any mandrels, but I do have two mandrel spawn eggs. So I'm going to have a look and see if we've got two different mandrels in here. Right, let me just separate those out. And I've got me tags. I need to tag them, don't I? Right, let's see what we've got. Ooh! Oh, you're nice. Let me have a look at you. What are you? Oh, you're a navy mandrel, a male. Oh, you're different. What are you? A navy... Oh, a female. Oh, that's nice. I've got a pair. 
Nice. Okay, here we go. Nice. How is that suiting you? Oh, he's in the water. Oh, he's out. That's good. That's good. <laughs> they look really suited in there, I think. I quite like that. We'll get round to naming them very shortly. I've got a lot of naming to do. So we'll do them all together. They look to be doing okay and they're getting around. They're moving. Nice. Oh, she's in. She's in. Now then, are you going to get out? Because you're, you were smaller than the male. Are you coming out? Come on. You can do it. Come on, you can do it. She's trying. Oh, do I need to get uh, my net out? And pick her back up. Oh. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Oh, there you go. Oh, she's back in. Oh, no, she didn't. <gasps> she can get in and she can get out. That's awesome. Okay, I've got a lot of names. Most of these are from Very Amber. We have Jewel. Opal. Ava. Buddy, Bonnet and Coco. Those are the macaws. Zaze, Oze, Blue, Tiego, Storm and Scarlet for the hornbills. And for the tree monitors, we've got Ethan and Charlie, that very amber chose, and then Toothless and Stormfly that my grandson chose. And then I've chosen two. I've chosen Rafike from The Lion King and Colchester Zoo has a mandrel called Mindy and I quite thought those two went together. And I had a suggestion from Todd who thought Grimer should be one of the names I chose. So I chose the bald eagle for Grimer. And then Crosse chose Theseus, Hercules and Odysseus from Greek mythology. So appropriate for the majestic bald eagle. So let's go and do some naming. Now then, I'm going to do the bald eagles first and I've got my tranquilizer gun because I know how mean these eagles can be. So I've got to be really quick and really accurate with my shooting. So let's see how I get on. Right then, this one here first. There we go. And then that one. And that one. And that one. Oh, I've been getting some practice in. Right then, Odysseus and Hercules and Theseus. And then, oh, you would have to be awkward, wouldn't you? You'd be right up there. Grimer. <laughs> oh, dear. Let me get out quick. Put that uh, glass back in. Wow. Wow, I'm glad I finished that. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. Right, let's do the macaws next. They're all in this little corner. Can I get you, Jewel? Yeah, I think I can. And then we've got Opal up there. Oh, I've got to get up. I've got to get up. Let me get some dirt. Right then, so we've got Opal next. Who'll be Opal? You will. Then Ava, there. And then Buddy. Yeah, you look like a Buddy. And then we've got, let me get these down here. We've got Bonnie. And then one more. Oh, not you. Where's, oh, I think, let me see. Are you, yeah, you two. Yeah, you You have all been named. Let me come down here. Yes, you're hiding down here, aren't you? Yeah, they're, they're all done. You're my last one. Come on out. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, then, let me get back up there. Right, then here you are, your Coco. There you go, got ya. So you're all been done, haven't ya? You've all been named. You've been named, haven't ya? Bonnie, yeah, okay. Nice, very nice. Oh. And now for the hornbills. Again, they're all in the north corner. So, but uh, 
I did catch an, uh, another one earlier, so I've had to add another name to these. So now we have... Come on, out the way, out the way. Storm. And Scarlet. Oh, you can be Scarlet with your big red beak. Um, let's have a look. We've got Cassie. Uh, no, no, you're Scarlet. We don't want to name you twice. There we go. Cassie. And let me just get these down here. Another one there. So we have... Oh, no, don't want to name, rename you. <laughs> uh, yep. Diego. Uh, Blue. We've got Ozzy and Zazzy. There we go. And now for the tree monitors. And there we've got all four. They're all in there somewhere. Right, I'm going to go around the back and nip it over the fence at the back here. So if I could just go up this pathway, turn here, you'll see the back of the tree monitor exhibit. So in I go. So what have we got? We've got Toothless and Stormfly. So I'm going to choose this one for Stormfly because it looks a bit like Stormfly from How to Train Your Dragons. And I can't get you in there. Oh my goodness me. Right, we'll do this one first. Toothless, you're the black dragon. Uh, I'm going to have to get you out of there. There we go, Stormfly. And let me just get... Uh, have I got a little bit of... Uh, Yes, I thought I had some in my inventory. There you go. And then we've got Charlie and Ethan over here. So, let me see. I don't know which one I'm going to name which. I think I'll just do it randomly. And I think we'll have Ethan, this yellow one over here, and the uh, green one can be Charlie. So thanks ever so much for suggesting all these names. So that was Todd Crossy, very amber, who did a lot of work on that, and my grandson. So that's about it for this episode. In fact, this is probably going to be the last episode for this year. The next episode of an exhibit is going to be in January. So as soon as the new year is in, you'll see another episode from me. And that's because I've got to go away to visit relatives. And then my grandson is coming to stay next week. And then it's Christmas. So there will be one or two videos going up, but they'll probably have a Christmassy theme. Or one or two of them will. But I won't be doing a lot of editing over the holiday period. So take care everybody. Have the best Christmas you can. And I'll see you in the new year. If not before. Okay. So take care. Bye bye.